Okay, I'll try and be as concise as possible. Um, here's a little putty tat. Here's her little bed I'd want to tell you about. She, um, she sleeps in this all the time. However, it does get plugged in in this uh, back wall here. If you'll notice, it's unplugged because we have the heat going and we don't want to keep that thing plugged in all the time. So ideally, she gets it on at night and then during the day, um, since nobody will really be around, it's probably best just to turn it off unless it's a pretty cold day, then you can leave it on. No big deal um, if it's left on. But she also overheats, you'll notice, she treats it like a hot tub and she uh, starts hanging out the side. I think Sharon is probably going to set this up so that it turns on if it does get really cold if you're not around. Um, I have no idea what the weather is going to be. But if you want to use it, which I'm sure you want to, this is the remote control. I'm not totally sure how to use it, but I do know that this button right here is what turn thing, turns things on and off. So I just turned it off. I just turn it back on. There it goes. Okay. Basically, if the little LED light is on, then the fireplace is on. It just is going to click. The flame will click on in a second. Yeah. So as, if there's light, then it's it's fired up. So be mindful of that because you don't. You definitely want to turn it off when you leave during the day. Although I think Sharon, you might be setting this up again if it gets cold. Okay. So. Um, let's see what else. Uh, this TV has a Chromecast, so you are welcome to um, cast, and I know you're familiar with how that works. Uh, if you want to touch the, the TV to turn it on, you just drag your finger over this little power button. You can't really see it, but I know it's there. There it goes. Okay, it'll fire up. And also your Chromecast, once you start casting, it'll automatically turn the TV on. You don't even need to, you don't even need to press this button. I'm going to turn that off. This remote, I think the batteries are dead, so you'll use the volume on your own um, to watch movies and stuff. So you can use your laptop, etc. cetera. Um, the router is here, but I think we have a new password situation, which I'll send to you for, for using Wi-Fi. Aha, uh -huh. so it is apparently on the fridge. So let me just take us over here. She's going to go ahead and just put the... General Sherman 5. Yeah. There's two General Shermans, but use the 5 for the Chromecast, and there's the password. Yeah, so there you go. Cat food. We've got next to the fridge and at the microwave, there's tons of cat food. Um, Puddy's going through about a can a day. Uh, I suggest if you're spending the night that you just use like one of these um, plates right here and just put a whole bunch of food on there and cover it up with a big bowl. And if you hear her crying in the middle of the night, you could just get up, take the bowl off and she'll chow down. If she's bugging you in the morning because she's used to me getting up super early in the morning, um, just throw your earplugs in. Okay. And she can wait. She needs like two thirds of a can. Yeah. She needs kind of a lot. So at night, at night, um, let's see our door because there's a kitty door here, which by the way, gets locked with that little plastic thing here. So this is how I close the door at night and then it just unlocks here. She can go in and out right now. Her cat box is outside, but we're planning on just leaving it here. However, if that's too messy, it can also be taken up to the spare bedroom with a rug, put a carpet underneath, and then as a little track pad, and you can have the cat box up there. This is how we lock the door, <laughs> because the cat door, um, uh, it, it basically stops us from being able to lock it. So that's why we, we ha always, always have that, um, basically shutting it down. Which I'm gonna show you one more thing. You probably want to do this the day that you leave or around then here's our cat box you're familiar in this in this closet here there is cat litter and you probably can't see very well but okay so there's cat litter right there that bag and then if you can see that little bin right there that's where I toss the old cat litter 
Okay, so cat litter, bin, and I think the scooper is down there. Okay, so that's the water closet. Um, and then we lock the gate. We always lock the gate here and you'll see there's like a, like a padlock that we have. Uh, our backyard's getting done, which is nice. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so then the keys, um, we will figure out how we're leaving. The oh, if you're wondering what these rugs are, Pretty has a spot that she likes to, if she's going to have an accident, it's right under here. So we've cleaned it a bunch of times. Um, and then we just happened to throw these rugs down for now because we cleaned them and we were walking back and forth on the carpet. So we left them here. But anyway, we've covered that up because if she goes, then you can use the washer and dryer. If she has an accident, God forbid, but she, she it's, you know, you know her, it's likely. We use this stuff right here, Resolve. And that cloth right back there, that cloth, I just, <laughs> I use super hot water, super hot. You spray this stuff down.